Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back. All right. I think I easily want to kick this off with <laughs> one of the craziest experiences any of my stores have had to deal with. I had a lady pretty much coming in threatening to spread COVID to everybody in the store. What do you mean? Employees and customers. Like, all right. So it started like this. This lady ordered online. We were absolutely slammed. So she comes in. She's like, hey, I'm here to pick up my order. And for the sake of this video, we're going to call her Meg. <laughs> so she's like, hey, I'm here to pick up an order for Meg. I'm, All right, cool. We look. We're like, hey, Meg, we're actually still working on it. We got a couple orders in front of you, so we'll get it out to you soon. She's like, all right. She waited five minutes, literally five minutes. Came back. She's like, hey, I'm still waiting for my food. We're like, we know we're working on it. Like, <laughs> and in the midst of all this, there's maybe like 10 to 12 customers in the store. So it's obvious we're busy. So another five minutes passed by. I offered her a drink. I'm like, hey, like, here you go. Like, while you're waiting, have this drink. So hopefully that, like, eases the tension a little bit. But apparently too much time has passed for her. So she comes back and she starts throwing a fit saying, if I don't get my food right now, I'm going to spread COVID around the whole store. Dude, she's already in the store. How, like... Yeah, and that's, uh, that's what <laughs> that's like caught me like. What is this lady talking about right now? Like, does she have COVID? What's happening? I don't get it. I'm like, miss, I know I'm very, very sorry. I'm working on it right now. Just give me a lot of two minutes and I'll have it done. And she couldn't handle it anymore. She's like, I want my food. You guys are making me wait too long. I swear I'm going to spread COVID amongst everybody. And at this point, you'd think this story is like BS. There's no way a lady will do this. And I don't, but like she's in the store already with COVID. So and she's in the, she gonna spread it after she's the, in the store. <laughs> starts spitting on people. My <laughs> team is getting the order done. And this lady starts walking around the store, just like coughing out loud, just like coughing around. And it, you see all the customers in line are like stepping away, stepping away. At this point, I'm like, dude, forget about this lady's order. I, she, even when I give it to her, she's going to cause problems. So we had to call security. Dude, security came. It took them 20 minutes to get this lady out of the store like she she had her food but she wasn't leaving at this point so anyways like that situation ended on its own security finally got her out we're like jesus what was that the what? next day we get a call from this lady saying hey i was in there yesterday i had a terrible experience i waited 10 minutes longer than i should have um i want a refund for my order so I okay. obviously knew who it was and I'm like, you know, like <laughs> I'm, I'm going to refund. I honestly didn't want to deal with this lady. So I'm like, I'm going to refund you. Just give it. Uh, sadly, when we're doing a refund online, it's going to take seven to 10 days till it kicks in. Like we do our part. We issue the refund. Damn, is it really that long? I it it is like that long. Three man. Day, I thought it was like three days. I tell you the truth. I thought it was like four, up to 48 hours and then. So this is how the story goes. <laughs> it's supposed to be up to 48 hours. Okay. So I told the lady, give it a couple days and you should see that refund kick in. So this lady called me back in three days. She's like, hey, I didn't get my refund. I'm like, all right, let me look into it. So I call our tech support team. I'm like, hey, I issued a refund. I, this lady's saying she hasn't received it. And he's like, oh, it could take anywhere up to seven to 10 days. I'm like, damn it. I got to deal with this lady even longer. So and I asked them, like, is there anything we could do to fast forward that? They're like, no, you just pretty much got to wait it out. Like we did our part. Well, how much was our ticket? 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Yeah, right. 40 bucks. It was a couple giants with a couple drinks. So at that point, I'm like, all right, I called the lady back. I'm like, it's going to be seven to 10 days. Uh, I can't like we did everything we had to do. We're just waiting for the banking to figure their stuff out. So it comes into your account and she throws another fit. She's like, I'm coming into the store at 5 p.m. today. If you guys don't have my refund in my account, I'm going to spread COVID again. <laughs> I'm like, and I told her, I'm like, look, Meg, like, I understand you're frustrated. Trust me, I'm not happy about this either. I really just want to, like, get you taken care of. And that's what we're doing. You just got to be a little more patient. She's like, 5 p.m., I'll be there. I'm <laughs> So then she shows up to the store at freaking 5 p.m. Like, I, I thought she was joking, but at this point, I, I guess what, what I called was, her bluff. What is she wearing? Like, I kind of want to get, like, a picture of, like... Okay, so very baggy sweats and, like, a white tank top. How like, old is she? And maybe between her 40s to 50s, like, late 40s is what I would kind of say. All right. And so she comes in there, like, with nothing. She's just... 
it's just her keys and her. She walks in and she sees me and she literally just <coughs> starts coughing. Oh, I'm like, my, oh my God. God. Security again. Security again. Another 20 minutes finally rotates her out. So then at this point, I, I called the tech support guy the next day. again. I'm like, look, I, this is what I'm dealing with right now. I got a crazy lady coming in here and coughing everywhere. Like at this point, we're debating whether or not to call the cops on her. I don't want to take it that far. So like, can we do anything? He's like, dude, I already told you, like the refund's been issued. She's just got to wait it out. So I told her, I'm like, look, just you got to give it a couple more days. If for any reason you don't have it in by then, please give me a call back. I'll help you out. So then time has passed, a couple days, and it was like the 10th day mark. And, of course, she gives a call back. Like, hey, thanks for calling, yada, yada, yada. How could I help you? She's like, hey, it's Meg. I still don't have my refund. I'm like, oh, my God, I swear it sounds like a nightmare <laughs> right now. I'm like, all right, Meg, I'm going to look into it one more time. So I call tech support again, and it's the same guy. He's like, look, I told you, the refund's been done. At this point, like... It shows that she's received it. I'm like, oh, so it is there. He's like, yes. Like, if if she doesn't believe you, like, at this point, she has to contact her bank for it. She's like, so I told Meg this. And Meg's like, oh, I already told the bank. The bank's like, go back in there and get a cash refund. I'm like, ain't no bank nah, ever going to say you that. that, you know. <laughs> so at this point, I started to feel like it was a little sketchy. Obviously, her causing a scene already made me think of her as a sketchy person. But. At this point, when she said that, I'm like, there's no bank in the world that would say that, you know. So I'm like, look, Mac, we've done all we can. If you come back in here and, and you're <laughs> spreading COVID, I'm just going to have to call the cops. Please. I got 16, 17 year old kids in here and I got a bunch of customers. I, I mean, it's been care. 10 days. How long do you have COVID for? She's still coming in and spreading it. <laughs> I don't understand her. So pretty much um, I kind of gave her that warning and she left. But. It did not end. She called every single day. I'm not lying for maybe a month straight. Wow. Like we just finished dealing with this lady for a month straight. And every time she called, she said, I still don't have my refund. And I'd say, look, I know I don't want to get a little personal, but if you can show me the charge on your bank statement, I'm like, we'll figure out what we need to do and get you a refund at that point like i was telling you i might as well just do the refund out of my own pocket oh man oh my god i would have like, <laughs> gave her like i would have gave her a hundred bucks and get the if hell i out of knew my life. this was the situation i was dealing with in the beginning that i would have paid it off a long time ago you know but this lady called every day every day every day seriously like harassing the employees every time that she would call that at some point after a month of dealing with it i just told her look like blocking this number you're not going to be able to call us i made sure she didn't have anyone else's number i'm like i do have to warn you if you come back in here we're just going to have to call the cops and we don't want to do that so please like i know your refund's been taken care of i've confirmed it over three times you know like that's the end of it and if you're not willing to show me the proof that you still haven't been given a refund then i can't help you so in the end it all finally finished and it told me like man this this lady was just really out to get more than what what she was supposed to get persistent you know? as hell dude what the for hell? a month oh man. my god who has that much time on their hands it's unbelievable yeah we tell ourselves like we've we've dealt with the worst already right we've been doing know, this man. for over 10 years it's but <laughs> only getting no over i mean it's only getting worse i think after the pandemic a couple people just like lost their shit and they're just not all there anymore i don't know and i mean you're using you're threatening to spread covid yeah, really? like that's messed like, up. That's messed up. I mean, forget about the sandwiches and everything. Just as a human being. she doesn't being. have COVID. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, you, her you, way of spreading it was, I'm going to go cough all over you guys. Like, uh, it's stupidity is that? Like, she, I wonder if she's doing this, like, everywhere she goes. Uh, look, like, I'm not someone that profiles anybody. I never really judge anyone off of an appearance. But, like, after experiencing, like, multiple occasions with her and, like, just seeing her i'm like she is that kind of person that's gonna go around you know it's crazy like i know we're not the only ones i'm pretty sure every single concept whether it's a restaurant fast food spot uh local moms and pop shop they got their own people in there that come and try to beat the system i don't doubt it i mean that's insane i can't believe for a month straight she was just doing that yeah i mean a for, <laughs> a for effort i mean i swear i was i was maybe one more 
uh, occasion away from like here's 50 bucks man just leave me the hell alone please oh my god yeah but but like i knew if she won that battle she would have kept fighting more battles yeah. with us. I and mean, that's, maybe that's the point of it. If I was there, yeah, if I was in your shoes, maybe I wouldn't have budged after all of that. I mean, yeah, I don't like, I don't like the. I'm gonna go spread COVID. Yeah. <laughs> why are you threatening everybody in the in the building? You know what I mean? There's people in line just getting food, lunch, whatever. Maybe kids, families. Yeah, and you're going around threatening to spread COVID to everybody. Yeah. Sure. Well, she earned the title to crazy covid lady i believe in car- <laughs> i believe in karma and either she's already been through some like messed up stuff yeah or you know it's gonna what goes around comes around as far as i wouldn't be surprised if she catches covid <laughs> yeah seriously at this point like in my head i just tell myself like i don't know what's going on in other people's lives so if they're not in a good mood i don't take that offensively only because maybe they're dealing with a bunch of crap and like This is how they're acting right now. So no blame to them. I mean, I've been in some shitty situations myself, even though I haven't been like crazy COVID lady, but I've also been kind of want to act out of emotion. So I tell myself that, but I mean, yeah, hundred percent. this is a different Uh, story. Yeah. This feels a little different. This feels, (laughs) this feels uh, coordinated and (laughs) I don't know. I definitely love to hear some of the comments on some of the experiences you guys have had with people. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we're not the only one, but I think this kind of takes the cake on who the craziest lady I've had. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't think I have any any crazy COVID <laughs> lady <laughs> story. <laughs> That's insane. It's a one and done right now, so I don't really have much more of that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I've had people complain about masks here and there, but other than that, nothing too crazy. Oh, speaking of masks, so one of my stores the other day was busy, slammed. Okay, we got the the manager of that store sent me the sales like after lunch. And I'm like, damn, that was a busy day. Like, how did you guys handle it? He's like, I'm not going to lie. It was really busy, but we made it happen. It's just like we randomly got uh, people walking and placed 15 sub orders. And then we got an online order for 18 giants, like doing 15 minutes. Like, so in the midst of like two minutes, it became chaos. And then wow. we got busy in the store. Yeah, that so then he's like... Uh, uh, <laughs> we got a, a a complaint from from corporate when someone wants to leave a complaint jerseymikes.com and it gets sent to corporate but it gets sent directly right back yeah. to us so then the complaint said that she called the store at least 20 times and no one was picking up the phone um, and finally when someone did pick up the phone she had a complaint about when she came in an hour ago the person who was making the sandwich was um, pretty much spitting on the sandwich. I guess when they were talking, it sucks to say this, but maybe like a little <laughs> bit of spit was coming out. Mm. But she's like, the person, the, the girl that was making my sandwich was spitting all over the food. And she was laying down on my sandwich. And she, at this point, was making accusations she that she was laying down on yeah the sandwich. <laughs> so laying down on the sandwich what does that mean yeah exactly right <laughs> so that I'm, the comment keep, the comment card keeps going about how uh, the person that uh, i called on the phone was being very rude so i asked to speak to the manager and the manager himself the, the person i was talking to said miss i am the manager like this that and she's like oh you haven't uh you weren't there today. You don't know what I'm talking about. He's like, miss, I've been here since 7 a.m. Like, I've been making sandwiches since the morning. I've been here. So, like, I don't know what you're talking about. And number two, we simply did not have time to lay down anywhere. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm like, dude, this, so this manager at this point is, is kind of get he got a little, like, uh, fumed from it. Like, he couldn't handle it anymore. It was busy. Yeah. He was overwhelmed. And then now... This lady's calling and complaining and accusing them of this, and he he lost it. He she's like, I'm gonna call corporate. He's like, Fine, call corporate, and he hangs up the phone on her. I'm like, Damn it, man, I gotta, I gotta go back and coach this manager up on how to handle this situation. But one of the lady's complaints or part of it was, this store was not even wearing masks. Like, they were spitting in our food and all this. Like, they have a huge health and safety problem by not wearing any masks. And I'm like, man, still, like, till this day, like, people think, like, 
you have to be wearing masks we're in la <laughs> sure. uh, when in la uh i mean there you're all those people exist they're always gonna be like that so that's messed up i mean i can't blame your manager for kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a very awkward complaint uh spitting all over my food laying down on my sandwich uh, yeah it was a bunch of everything but Look, the customer herself, she, she works right around the corner from us. She's, she comes in here pretty frequently. So, like, the complaint was pretty much, like, it, th- there was spit going in my food. And then it led to not wearing masks. And then the fact that she called 20 times and no one picked up the phone because mm. they were busy. And then finally when she got a hold of the person to talk to and complain, he didn't want to hear about it. So she got even more pissed from that, you know. So it's like it all started with, one simple sandwich making issue you know and it led into the masks but yeah I, I understand yeah but i mean i just find it kind of crazy man la is a confusing place to live Big like time. if you want to wear masks wear it like the best too you know if you don't want to wear masks you don't have to yeah we're not required as of right now i don't know how long that's gonna last <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. i mean at this point whoever everyone's getting covid it doesn't matter of which um i don't know if you knew this but it, a bunch of the cities actually declined the mask mandate oh that's fantastic yeah beverly hills <laughs> like nah we ain't doing it if you propose it long beach is like nah we ain't doing it pasadena's like nah we ain't doing it yeah <laughs> the the percentage of people that are against it are, are way it's way higher than the people that are for it you know and either way i think at this point it's just i think people are just getting get kind of testy nowadays when you're mandating it you can recommend it yeah you know what you know what i mean and the people that want to do it do it exactly. that's great just give people the freedom to do what they want to do it's the healthiest lifestyle right now yeah and just tell people the truth give them the facts and be like okay if you wear a mask you're maybe better off if you're at high risk whatever you know wear a mask but uh, it's when you force people, I think, nowadays where it, where it's kind of getting people get defensive and they don't like to be forced to do anything, you know? Yeah. I mean, I remember the first time it came around, people were pissed off when they walked in and we had to tell them, hey, I'm sorry, but you're going to need to wear a mask. It feels like forever ago, but everyone, like, a lot of the reactions we would get was, F you, I'm not wearing a mask, you know? It's yeah. Like, and now if we get to a point where... Us as employees, if we have to wear it again, so be it. You know, it sucks. But, I mean, if, if it gets mandated, we'll do it. Especially if the public feel a little more comfortable coming in and getting a sub out of it. But uh, at the end of the day, I think you're right. People just are tired of being told what to do and what's right, what's wrong. You know, it's like we're dealing with it no matter what we yeah, try. Yeah, in the beginning, it sucked, man, where, you know, we were kind of telling people to wear masks. Like, nobody ever signed up for that we never signed up to tell people what to do and the reactions we got from some customers just yelling at us i'll do whatever i want you know it's we have 16 year old 17 year old kids and you're forcing them to tell grown-ups what to do yeah and then they get the they get scolded by these grown-ups and you know they just don't want to come back to work that's not i don't know nobody ever signed up for that you know yeah so it's government actually wants to mandate it then they need to set up a security guard in front of every store and pay Seriously. for that security guard you at know? that point yeah because you can't expect fast food workers or any worker you know in general that's uh kind of it, because people could get violent over something like this we had people explode on us yeah we've seen it we've experienced it so after after a while i just told my employees don't tell don't tell them anymore. If people aren't wearing masks, it's not worth the hassle we have to go through, the arguments, this, that. And I gave my employees a choice. I was, this is the situation. You, you could either say it to people and you can risk these type of reactions. You could choose not to come to work or you can let things be as they are, you know? Yeah. I mean, if it was up to me, I would just pretty much say, whatever wherever you're going whatever establishment you're walking into if if they have their rule saying hey you must wear a mask to walk in then you got to just respect that no matter what or don't go yeah or don't go you know i mean go somewhere else you don't have to go if you go somewhere they're not wearing masks and you don't like it go somewhere else (laughs) i mean yeah i mean you gotta put your ego and your pride aside like if you want to go somewhere and it requires you wearing a mask just wear a mask for it you know but like if i walk in somewhere right now i don't even think to wear a mask like i um, i feel like we're way past those days yeah, but at all i haven't cared i haven't worn a mask like i'll be i'll be thrown off at this <laughs> point if i had to walk in somewhere and they said oh, hey you need to wear a mask you know yeah. like actually last week 
like well, I had to go to the dentist and when I walked in, I see them wearing masks. Like again, whatever establishment you walk into, sometimes the employees will wear it. Customers don't have to or patients, whatever. Well, technically the dentist is always They're wearing always masks. wearing masks. Yeah. yeah. So I walk in there and she's like, okay, just give it a couple minutes and we'll call your name while you're waiting in the lobby. Please go ahead and wear a mask. And like, I didn't question it. They had masks to offer her. So I grabbed it. I put one on, but then I sat there. I'm like, damn it's been like a year <laughs> i haven't put on a mask it's been a while yeah you know? i think the medical any medical industry is still kind of uh since it is technically up to them they can choose how they want to you know run their practice or whatever yeah. um i think most even hospitals anywhere you go i think you're kind of i don't know i haven't been <laughs> in a while but i imagine yeah. they're there you know they're like we're the hospital we're gonna yeah. Plus, if they have people coming in and out with COVID, maybe it's a high risk area. In some ways, you know, the hospitals and stuff, it, it, there's more relevance there. You know, yeah. it makes more sense for people to do something like that. I actually had a complaint, uh, not a complaint, but once like the mandates and stuff went away, I still had one of our, you know, the posters we had or the mm -hmm. papers we had in front. Mm -hmm. I had that up still and it. It didn't say you're required. To, I don't remember optional. what it said. It said, yeah. Masks are optional. You could wear re re CDC, whatever, recommends masks. This lady's like, why do you still have that up there? We don't have to wear masks anymore. And she's like, I'm going to tell so I'm like, you're going to complain. I'm not. Nobody's telling you to wear a mask. You're complaining about a piece of paper. Stupid. <laughs> well, I'm like, okay, I'll take it down. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> granted, I was happy to take it down. Yeah. But why are you getting, you know, why are you getting... Nobody told you to do anything, and you're still getting mad. At the part that sucks is we look like the enemy, but we're not the ones that are creating know, those rules. Yeah, it's always our fault. It's kind of like going back to like when, I mean, it's completely different from a COVID subject that we're talking about. But like when Jersey Mike's changed their menu and removed seven of the sandwiches that we had, customers were coming in and freaking blaming us like, why did you take the meatball off the menu? That was my favorite sandwich. Yeah. Now I'm not going to come back here anymore. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm sorry. It's not my choice. Jersey Mike's just decided not to have the meatball as an offering anymore. Yeah. Like, give me corporate's number. I'm going to call them and tell them they need to put it back on. Them. Oh, you're gladly go for <laughs> it. Like, Get it back yeah. on. I'm down. I'm, I'm, I miss the pastrami. I'm on the same boat as you, you know, but it, it, no matter what, like, that's the sucky part about what we do. <laughs> now, speaking of the meatball. Yeah. So one of our videos on TikTok. Um, spaghetti and meatball. The, the one video with uh, Philly with the mustard and the pickles. You know, it's got like 6.5 million. Oh, yeah, that million. disgusting cheesesteak you made. Well, it looked delicious to me. It's I don't know. About <laughs> but yeah, mustard. anyway, so I told the guy, I showed the guy that comes in because he always orders that. I'm like, dude, look, uh, your sandwich, like. You got know, so much six, hype. Yeah, yeah. 6.5 million people have looked at your sandwich and he's like. Oh, they like it, huh? They want it. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. They said it's the worst thing they've ever seen in their life. Like, actually, it's a lot of people's. And this guy, he's from uh, New York. Uh -huh. He's an East Coast there, yeah. you know? So he knows what a real Philly is or, you know, whatever <laughs> people from the East Coast think a real Philly is. I don't know. <laughs> and I told him, like, honestly, it's a lot of people, like, saying that's what is this man thinking yeah. this is the worst sandwich who puts mustard and pickles on a philly yeah. he's like oh really <laughs> so every day he comes in he's like how many views are we at now <laughs> i'm like so i tell him and then the other day he's like i have an idea for a video <laughs> <laughs> and he's like a 67 year old oh man, no know? way how funny <laughs> that's so like, funny what's your idea he's like you know back in philly we used to get the onions and peppers or new york wherever he's from he's from the east coast either philly yeah. or new york i think he's new york he's got a new york accent he's italian too hey how you doing yeah he's italian too and he's like we used to dip the onions and peppers in marinara sauce and then make the philly cheesesteak afterwards damn so too bad calm. we lost our chance yeah, at that we brought up the meatball. <laughs> i was i was like that's the thing i was like you know what i'll go Maybe one day I'll just go buy some marinara <laughs> sauce and try it because it sounds pretty good. Well, give this guy an apron. See what kind of creations he comes <laughs> up with. I mean, we'll let the public decide if it's the good or not. <laughs> yeah. what did he got? So far, he's all for one, bro. He's gotten a lot of views, but he's gotten more hate. <laughs> yeah. As far as, I mean, granted, we never, you know, said that's his sandwich or whatever. But yeah. The, it hit me one time because that once that video took off and then he ordered it again, I was like, oh, that's your sandwich. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then I told him about it. I mean, he's still like, he's so happy. It feels like he's part of something. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you kind of shared that with him. <laughs> yeah, same with Peter too. Peter, I showed him uh, his video. I was like, look, man, you're one good deed. Yeah. <laughs> you guys haven't seen the video on Peter. He's the guy that bought uh, this old couple their food one day and they ended up being friends they sat together they ate they did all this stuff and it was just a nice gesture you know the couple pretty much started crying and it was a very emotional you know it's like a scene out of a hallmark yeah, movie it was man nice. it was really <laughs> i hadn't seen uh, an act of kindness like that in a while sometimes people you know give change or whatever but this guy's like whatever they want i'll buy it and then they were buying regular size sandwich peter's like no no get the giant take some home eat it later you know yeah. it was like, he was buying them more food than they actually needed uh so i showed him too one day he came in after that video took off i was like look peter like people saw this yeah. over a million people have seen what you know you did one good deed and like people like it uh yeah, and he felt good about it. He, he, he actually went on. A, he's like, you know what? Some people call me an angel. <laughs> <laughs> really? He's like, yeah. I'm like, I mean, you're living up to it. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't stop there. He told me a bunch of other stories about him. Just, what a guy, man. Just going around. He's an older guy. I'm pretty sure he's, he's, he might be well off. I don't know. Maybe he's not. I haven't seen him flaunt anything. But yeah, I mean, he, he's at that point in life where... It's time to pay it forward. Yeah, he likes doing kind things for people because, especially in, in this climate, you know, where people kind of are always at each other's throat. I agree with him. You know, acts of kindness can totally overpower, you know, the acts of, you know, the violence and all the meanness. Absolutely, that, that no people, doubt, man. Like, like all that, that COVID lady, you know, <laughs> uh, things like that. So, like, there has to be some balance between... The good and evil, I guess. Yeah, if you want just, to call it that. Yeah, no doubt about. It. I wish, I do wish a lot more people were like Peter, you know. But it's 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 a rare breed. Not enough people are kind enough these days, you know. It's, again, I mean, I wish most of our content that we would talk about was all the good that we would see, you know. And it's not like it's only bad that we see. It's just that there's so many more wrong experiences than yeah, right experiences. Yeah, you don't get too many of. You don't get too many you know above and beyond good experiences sure we have a, a lot of good customers that come in they get their sandwich they're yeah. nice we chat it up with them we're friends with them we know their kids you know their yeah. family stuff like that but whoa 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 what nothing <laughs> <laughs> but you don't see like extra acts of kindness too often sometimes no. you see it um i mean I, it's it was an act of kindness towards me. I mean, I got married last year. Of course, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, this lady, last year, after I got married, I was working. I had a couple weeks until my honeymoon. I was going to Greece. So I was working in a store. And this, I asked this lady, hey, how's it going? Good, yada, yada. We get to talking. I'm like, hey, you going on any vacation? She's like, yeah, I got a trip planned out to Hawaii. I'm like, cool. I'm actually going to Greece. And she asked me all about it. And then she's like, well, have fun. Congratulations getting married. I hope you have a blast at Greece. So two weeks ago, I was in that store again. And I was, I was making subs for the customers in line. And this lady, she's like, so how is Greece? And then I looked at her like confused, like, how is Greece? I'm like, so I answered. I'm like, Greece was the best place ever at the time <laughs> of my life. And then she's like, you don't remember me. I'm like, like, it's kind of faint, but remind me. She's like, last year, like, I think it was around this time. Like, you told me you were going to Greece, like, for your honeymoon. You had just gotten married. I'm like, oh, my God. And then I'm like, Sandra, right? She's like, yeah, you remembered my name. I'm like, oh, my God. You have no idea, like, uh, what a boost this was, you know? Like, I miss Greece. I wish I could take another two-week vacation. But as soon as she kind of mentioned it, she's like, I remember you had this glow about you. You were so happy. Like, you are getting ready to have the time of your life. I'm like, you know what? Like, just thank you so much for bringing it up. You know, it just made my day just to kind of think about that. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. I've yeah. actually been thinking about one of our customers, uh, really good customers lately. I haven't seen him in a while. And last time I saw him, Poor guy was like, oh, my wife has cancer. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, and young wife. His wife was, I think, 36. They had three kids. And I, I, just, I haven't seen him in a while. Do you know his name by chance? I do. What is it? Jack. Jack? Yeah. Jack who? 
What do you mean Jack who? Jack. Well, there's a lot of Jacks in this world. Yeah, man. there are. I mean, I don't, I don't actually we'll know. Give Jack he's... a shout out. Tell him we're looking for him. We're worried. <laughs> I actually have his number. so. I'm gonna... All right. There yeah. you go. You can give I'm the guy gonna... a call. I just thought about of him. Like, <laughs> I thought of him this week. I was like, I haven't yeah. seen him in a while. Plus, I'm like jumping from store to store. I'm like, maybe he's came in. I've missed him. So, yeah. I don't know. Um, but definitely, you know, you, we you build these relationships and then you forget you know i remember five six months i'm like holy shit i haven't seen him in a while i wonder what that guy's doing mm -hmm. you know you just get lost in the day-to-day -day things and you don't remember these relationships but yeah i mean i'm sure i'm sure you got plenty of people that like from day one they're still coming in you know he's like, one of them yeah 10 years imagine like this is the coolest kind of um yeah no he took relationships me, yeah, we he's do one have. of the guys he took me out with his family he took us to a clipper game boxing, oh that's that the dude yeah. so he met his family knows kids everything he comes in every day uh i know exactly what he wants that well you friends, got his number everything. man shoot the guy a text yeah yeah i think uh v actually hit him up but yeah hit him up invite him over for a sub People aren't kind enough these days, man. I <laughs> know, no, man. Yeah, you got to take your own advice. Definitely. Yeah, go a long way. All right. I think that wraps up uh, podcast number two, everybody. Well, we're on a, a journey to 250,000 subscribers. So it seems like we're halfway there right now. If you guys do enjoy listening to whatever the hell we're talking about, then hit that subscribe button. Might help. We might even do a face reveal at 250. You're talking about TikTok, right? Uh, I'm talking about everything. We got 250 for TikTok. Yeah, we get 250 for YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, we're not halfway oh, there on YouTube. Yeah, yeah we're like 10% uh, <laughs> of the way there. So yeah, we got a lot of room to grow there. But uh, I don't know. The goal would be to do a face reveal at 250. It just depends how badly you guys want to see us. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of hate in the comments. Say no one cares. <laughs> we yeah, care. we're actually really ugly. You guys yeah, don't want to see us. Yeah, you definitely don't want to <laughs> see this. Ed's more the shy one. Yeah, guys, help us get there. We'd really appreciate it. Until then, Ari Davirci. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. Bye.